and welcome to In Retrospection. I am your host Joshua Caleb and today I am joined as always by Dustin Schmidt and Graham Ellis. How are you guys feeling, feeling about our game today? Oh, I'm really excited, Joshua. I don't know about you two, but this is this is a great game. Well, I'm pretty excited to see it too. Um, Mega Man has got a uh, bit of history to him. Yeah, the, the the X series they started on the Super Nintendo. They sort of go into that. The the previous Mega Man's on the NES didn't really have much of a story other than well, you had good scientists, bad scientists. Um, Good robots, bad robots, fighting each other. And now with this X series, they sort of went into the future. And now they, they got a, like a whole backstory of this Mega Man X, which is, I guess you could call him a descendant of the original Mega Man. That he has like the ability to make his own decisions and whatnot, which I, I was a little confused. I thought the original Mega Man was sort of a Humanoid Robot 2. Yeah. Cause it, I, I'm a, I'm a little fuzzy. It's been a while since I've like read some of the official canon and whatnot. But I thought in the original series, um, uh, Mega Man, which his original name was Rock, was just like a household robot, and the creator Dr. Wily, you know, had all his all of his combat robots that the evil scientist stole and reprogrammed for his evil purposes or whatever. So then Rock or whatever decided that he wanted to go fight all the evil robots and had Dr. Light turn him into a fighting robot or something like that. So it seemed like he was making his own decisions before X. Well, it always reminded me kind of as a, you know, like, um, uh, what's the one there, Astro Boy? Yeah. Well, given the country of origin, it's not a <laughs> <laughs> not a huge stretch. <laughs> you know, it's kind of Astro Boy in a little bit more suit in those little jammies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never quite got that. <laughs> well, why he was just in his boxers? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you afford to build a robot, you can afford to buy him a shirt, you know, <laughs> or at least just paint <laughs> a pair of pants. <laughs> It must have been so he could move around faster. He wasn't constricted. Yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> well, for that matter, why not just paint him? Just paint some shirt and pants on him. Why, why do you gotta just? The only, the only you only got enough. Well, paint you know, for the scientists boxers. don't have a lot of fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. But I mean, this was their pretty classic platformer at the time. A little, little more shoot 'em up than Mario, but yeah. Yeah, lots well, of, lots of in that genre, you know, ghost and goblins kind of, you know, except a little more high tech. Yeah, I actually prefer this to the original Mega Man series, cause, one, because of the story, and two, because I think it's a little easier. Because the original Mega Mans and the NES, those were some kind of hard. Oh my goodness, they were horribly hard. And especially like the first one had no save or no password and Oh yeah. wow. Yeah, some of those bosses and the levels were just absolutely absolutely um evil. <laughs> I remember that was another one of those games where I kinda left my machine run sometimes for a few hours to take Yeah, because if you lost, you lost in a big way. <laughs> yep, yeah. I don't think they introduced, they didn't introduce the password system on those until like the second or third one. Yeah, well, a lot of the password system probably didn't even exist until then. Some of the early NES games. Yeah. Which this act is surprisingly, this doesn't even go for a save thing. This still is a password only, even though it's a Super Nintendo. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I think this is actually the boss fight you're supposed to lose. And that's a little different for uh, for a game. Yeah. See, so then he zaps me with the ball, and then you gotta get taught a lesson. <laughs> oh, yep. The dramatic sound, and boom. 
And my favorite character of the series. Fox chick? I mean... <laughs> Sky <No>. Fox! <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> Zero. Oh yeah, make it bad. Zero. Oh my goodness, I forgot this one swore, that's right. I know, that's when I first saw it, I'm like, why the game has swearing in it? <laughs> <laughs> What's the rating on this thing? <laughs> yeah. I've always wondered about the original texts, you know, because you wonder how much liberties they've taken with the original Japanese text versus the American or Westernized that is true, version. Because they they do have to do some um, very careful localization, especially with I've heard um, games that have a lot of humor in them. Mm -hmm. Japanese. A lot hum of that gets lost in translation. Yeah, yeah, Japanese humor is worlds apart from American humor. Oh yeah. <laughs> so they have to completely rewrite everything. Otherwise, and it's just nothing. Some of the characters are women or aren't women, and <laughs> yeah, <it's... laughs> you know things like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. So you, you got to kind of wonder how the how how it works on. Some of these, which this, this you wouldn't think it would be too hard. Oh yes, I am playing a PS2 port of this. Interesting. Yes, this is the Mega Man X collection on the PS2. Because I was having a little trouble with my emulators, so I just went okay. for the straight disc, which is pretty thing. As far as I know, the game is identical. They just throw in a, a nifty save feature for you. A proper well, save that's feature. handy. Yeah. <laughs> a proper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, we can, as with any other Mega Man game, we can select which boss we want to go for first. Which, there's a way to do this, whether you want the easy route, the most complete route, or whatever. Yeah, the Japanese like their routes, you know? Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I don't know which way because the the weapons are actually several of them, as was the originals. They're they have elemental abilities or whatever. So like, um, the freeze penguin dude would work good against like the flame dude or stuff like that. But there's also because there's I think there's various environmental hazards or whatever in a level that you can overcome with various powers. Hmm. So yeah, he gives me shotgun ice, which... I think he was one of the easier ones to, de to defeat. Oh, and plus I get the dash boots from him. Yeah, this one you could actually... There was actually... Um, capsules that you could find within each level that would give you new pieces of armor. So you could eventually upgrade into like a Super Mega Man X. You, this one you get like the dash boots and one you get a helmet and uh, another one you get like a powered up buster gun and armor, different types of chest armor, stuff like that. Yeah. It gives you a nice sense of progression because you can actually physically see the changes to his armor. Yeah. And you, you can notice it too, like, you know, in, in combat and stuff, which is nice. Yeah, one reduces the amount of damage, the other makes your shots more powerful, one lets you break bricks with your head, a la <laughs> Mario. That's cool. That's actually been reused in uh, the uh, Shadow Complex. Oh yeah, that, that sort of, what are they, uh, Metroidvania? Yeah, they, call uh, they always said it was more Metroid than that, but I thought it was a little bit more like Mega Man. Because you pick up your suit, you get it a piece at a time, you get, each time you get a piece you get an ability that you didn't have before. You, yeah. you know, the ability to run really fast and run across water and up upside down walls. Yeah. Know. So what they, you know, I always kind of took a look at that game as, you know, being a new game, but it was actually very retro based. Yeah, it, it is very, it was definitely designed with the whole Mega Man, Metroid, Castlevania um, gameplay in mind. Okay, now why can't I make this jump? There. 
Yeah. Oh, there we go. It was just like out of just out of his reach there, it seemed like. Yes, and the yeah. and the Mega Man. The other thing I like about the X series is it introduces the invaluable wall jump. Mm-hmm. Yes. That you can climb vertical walls and save yourself from falling in a pit and that would have been so handy in the originals. <laughs> yeah, it sure would have been. Ooh, we get a capsule. Choose your own path in life. So what are all these other jokers? Don't don't they have their own can't they choose their own paths? Yeah, I think I think how it's sort of set up is Dr. Light, which created the original Mega Man, he created Mega Man X and sealed them away. And supposedly, I believe according to the canon. Dr. Wily actually created Zero. Which is sort of interesting because Zero is actually a good guy. Yes, we're super powerful. Can become even more powerful. We could conquer the world if we wanted. Good luck. <laughs> <laughs> which apparently Mega Man actually does. Supposedly. Was it the Game Boy Advance um, Mega Man Zero series on the Game Boy Advance? The, really? I yeah, did so not know gets, that. So now he gets new boots, right? Yep, now I can dash. Oh, yeah! Cool. I love doing that in Shadow Complex. That was awesome. That was Boom. the best things ever. Boom. Yeah, anyway, I think in the Mega Man Zero series on the Game Boy Advance, mm -hmm. you play as Zero who get, who is sealed away and gets woken up or something by these by the, these new reploids and robot things to save them from the evil X who has taken over the world and is destroying everything or something. It's kind of strange. It's, it's a little vague, but it seems pretty obvious that Mega Man X has gone rogue and taken over the world. I haven't played that. A little malware it's called. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, yeah, if you think the original Mega Man games are hard, um, try playing Mega Man Zero. Those are some kind of impossible, too. And that. Geez, that robot just barely made that gap. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I'm not sure why. Uh, how do I. Okay. There's a way to do this now. Ah, there we go. This is the easier route. Uh, but you don't get to keep the suit. Nah, it's kind of <laughs> clumsy. Yeah, it's it's slow. Hey, stupid mosquitoes. Wall save. <clears throat> uh, yep. Use that all the time. Okay, then we got a snowball throwing robot. Yeah, I don't know how many times I would have I would have used that in the original Mega Man games. Oh, uh, like that. Yeah, right that. <laughs> awesome. That that totally should have been in the original Mega Man. Did you knock it off? Yeah, I thought you killed him there for a minute. Ah. Yeah, I know when they respawn like instantly. As soon as you turn turn your back, they're back. Oh, what do you think? You think I can defeat the boss? <laughs> oh, you got it. Health. You yeah, got three, it. three bars. <laughs> oh, that's two bars. Uh, okay. Ooh, I got two <laughs> bars of health. Maybe with three, but with two. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Make him you're getting a little breaths of fog when he's breathing. Never noticed that before. Now, if I remember, this was the easier of the bosses. Notice they also got rid of the um, man bosses from the original Mega Man series. You know, those always had the cut man. Um, ow. Oh. Huh? No. 
Ready! Now you got full health. Go! Time to kick some butt. I always thought that was um, weird on the original Mega Man games. All the boss names were like Dash Man, Quick Man, Leaf Man, um, Guts Man. Uh, but even the newer ones, they got like Sheep Man or something stupid like that. Like they, they just took any word or noun and just threw man in front of it and made it a boss. <laughs> this they release a little more creative in that they have chill penguin or flame mammoth or and they're all animal some, or insect based some of that might have been just the translation that the people actually uh when they retranslated it got a better oh. better level of translator it's good idea. yeah ah. well i don't know because in the japanese original mega man is called rock man so it still has that whole man yeah thing and I, i'm just it. thinking that if they had because this would have still been called Rockman in uh, Japan, right? Yeah, it, yeah. In Japan, it is called Rockman X. Yeah. So maybe when it, they ported it over, they actually got a half decent port this time. You know. It's, oh, and so... you know, some a real writer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Got him. Somebody that actually knew how to translate. Yeah, and they said that name's silly. We can't call him that. <laughs> He's a, he's a giant penguin. We're calling him Chill Penguin. <laughs> Chill Penguin. <laughs> there was actually one I've I didn't I I have I know nothing about like rock bands or whatever. But there's one of the Mega Man X games where all of the bosses, which they're still mostly like animal or insect based, but all the bosses are named after Guns N' Roses band members. Oh, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. Slash and. Uh... Gee, who else? <laughs> <laughs> Axel. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's something like that where they're, they're all named after the, the band members. <laughs> sort of, sort of, sort of the only two I know. <laughs> yeah. I know nothing the about the band. Drums. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <Bass player. laughs> Drum dude. <laughs> Drum dude and bass bro or something. <laughs> yeah. Mike man. Yeah, I can hear all the angry people Guns N' Roses fans get mad as. Uh, oh my goodness, yeah. You know, c quite considering uh, Guns N' Roses now is just Axel and whoever he puts together, <laughs> take it there. <laughs> oh, here we got a robot. It's either a robot factory or demolition thing. Uh oh, robots making robots. Mm. We're done for. Skynet. <laughs> that used that used to be my Wi-Fi network name. Oh hey hey hey, let go of me. Ooh, now wow. I changed my Wi-Fi network to FBI access point. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Or just do a uh, free public Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah. yeah nobody <laughs> will go there. <laughs> There's some pretty uh, nasty ones that come up around me. It's kind of funny. We won't go there though, right now. No, I, I get I get a bunch of Wi-Fi networks around here too. Most of them are secured, but I'm sure if I really tried, I could probably um, mm -hmm. come up with a password. Because this isn't exactly Silicon Valley. Yeah. Do they have a dog or something? <laughs> <laughs> a lot of them do. Yes. I always like that poster. It's like, I forgot my password. Now I need to change the name of my dog or whatever. <laughs> uh, or I need to change my birthday. Yeah, darn it. <laughs> What's my mom's maiden name again? It needs to change. Yeah, mom, can you yeah, change your maiden name? Yeah, those security questions. Yeah, make your own. Yeah. Oh, come on. I think there's a... I think there's a armor part up there. I only remember where some of the some of the upgrades are. It's been a while since I've played this. Ha! Extra life, that's something. Let's 
stupid what those metabots or something medibots oh and i missed it no so close i got an extra life out of it though hey i need a um, energy tank upgrade i need more health Yeah, I noticed the boss in the last level had like almost twice what you had. Oh yeah, they, yeah. they, always, they always do. Though I can get mine well, up. Well, not a boss if you don't. <laughs> I, I can get, you can upgrade your health with um, like tanks and s stuff to have a little more health. It's not the size of your health bar that matters, it's how you use it. Yeah, oh here, there we go, I was afraid I couldn't get it. There's an E-tank, that's something. Yeah, I wonder what that's going to give you. Uh, that will give me a recharge. I, I have to, f <laughs> I have to fill it up, but you oh, okay. fill you fill it with health points, and then you can use oh. it to re restore your own health. Yeah, I don't remember the the little things about this game. The problem is now I just gotta find enough health points to actually effectively use it. Aha! Life upgrade. Thought there was one down there. I got a little uh, life upgrade and an E tank, and I just need to fill it. Yeah, when when you get a lot of E tanks, you got to start farming health health packs like crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Could have been giant foot to be like Monty Python. Ouch. <laughs> that could not have felt too good. Yeah, this is where That's the where that comes dash in. comes in, yeah. Yeah. Always do that when going down a pit. Yeah, you never know what's at the bottom, right? Yep. <laughs> Dang, can't destroy those things. Oh, those lovely guys. Yeah, watch out for this guy. Variation of, uh, what are they called? Sniper Joes, I believe, in the original. Ah, got him. Shooting for the feet. It's a good Dude, shot. It's very ninja-like to me for some reason. Go. Ah! Stupid ball. Ah, shoot, got me on the Ooh, return. that was interesting. Ha! Oh, my health is almost gone. No, no. Ah, uh, hate those things. Ha. We'll see if I can at least make it to the boss door. Then I can at least start from there. Nah. Hate those things. Yeah. Oh, 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 no. oh bummer. Landed right on it. You got hit by the Cheerios. <laughs> That's what I always call them. They look like Cheerios when I was there. Old black Cheerios. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't eat the black Cheerios. <laughs> oh, Cheerios sure hurt. <laughs> no. I hate those things. They always feel, I always feel like you're going to get hit by them. Yeah. Sorry for the noise. Of the, sorry for the noise of the city tonight, guys. It's really loud. Oh, sorry. I got barking dogs in the background here. Yeah, I gotta keep my windows open now and everything. It's <laughs> that time of the season. Ooh. You gotta jump when he swings and jump on the return. Or be underneath him. Ha, health. Now if only I could get my E-Tank filled up. Oh, you get to keep that when you die, that's right. Yeah. They don't they, they don't make you start completely over, which is nice. There's the boss door. Okay. Now I wonder if my... There's a, there's a saw weapon I know that will cut his trunk off. I'm not sure if my freeze beam is effective against him or not. Oh, right, we're on a conveyor belt. Fun. Well, that guy is really terrifying. Okay. He almost looks like a 
uh, giant dead. mouse with a tail. <laughs> with, yeah, with, with an elephant trunk or something. Yeah. Oh, it still no. looks like a giant mouse. Okay, so what you ears. do? Mickey's bigger brother with the snaws. <laughs> ah, no! Get up. No, get up. This guy looks much tougher than the, the previous guy. Mm. I don't know if my freeze beam is working against him or not. Well, it doesn't he... seem to be taking too much down, ah. yeah. Oh, and I can't wow. charge the freeze beam yet. He, that last thing he hit you with, man, it took like three quarters of your health bar away. Right on. Spilled hot coffee on you and just burnt. <laughs> 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 no, stop it. What is he doing? Seems like a hit takes a, a bar away from him. Yeah, and there he took a quarter or so. Away. Ow. Oh, no. No, no, oh, stop it. Yeah, those, those shots were just about as effective. Yeah. This game still is not easy. Is there a yeah, certain no. place you can hit him instead? or? No, oh, I think man. pretty much anywhere. I there I think there is a weapon that's more effective against him. Ah, oh. and I may have to go get it. <laughs> yep, I just lost all my lives. Now, see, I wouldn't have saved there. I would have reloaded, tried to level again until I succeeded. <laughs> well, I, I still get to keep all my stuff, so I can just try a different boss now. Yeah, that's true. But I could... Man, which one is an easier boss? Some games it play, plays to, uh, or pays to uh, play the uh, save game game. Yeah, to save and reload. and <laughs> Save and reload. I do that a lot with reload. emulator save states. Yeah. Okay, what do you think an ice beam would be effective against? A water guy. Water guy? Yes, maybe try this octopus dude. Today's episode is brought to you by Prize Wars, a new online gaming tournament hub. Sign up for free sponsored tournaments with popular games such as Battlefield 3, Gears of War 3, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. Winners take home credits that can be cashed in for gift cards and other sweet prizes. Check it out at prizewars.net. Yeah, definitely. I think... Although you would think it would work against fire, too, because, I mean... Oh, uh, no, fire would be too hot, right? Oh, I guess, yeah. Fire would work against an ice guy. That's true, yeah. Yeah. I think Melting. that's, you know... Which I probably would have done if that um, chill penguin dude wasn't so easy in the first place. Like, I think if you have a fire power here, and you're trying to fight the octopus, I think you'd be in trouble. Yeah, I, actually, I don't think it even works. Right, because you're underwater. <laughs> I, think, I think it just sort of sputters. Right. And uh, so, I mean, you kind of have to... I guess it's rock, paper, scissors here, right? Basically, yeah, that's a... That's... You know, lizard spot. Oh, that was dumb. <laughs> Spikes, instant kill. And that's probably what you were talking about when you were saying, talking about that FAQ. Figuring yeah. out which one to take fight first is basically which rock, paper, scissors you should yeah, because some of them are a little ambiguous. It's not as clear cut as you know, like mm. um, water beats fire, fire beats wood, or you know stuff like that. You have like buzz saw, paper beating rock, that kind of thing. Yeah, rock, <laughs> rock power, saw power. Yeah, lizard kills poison Spock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, you got, got, got a little get a little creative. Oh man. These guys just infinitely spawn there. <sighs> it's been too long since I played this. And I wasn't very good at, the, at it then. Oh, right. Big fish. That's a fish? Well. <laughs> <laughs> fish like contraption. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, robotic fish. Hmm, <laughs> robo trout. 
<laughs> they that don't, they're not very easy to fillet, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, what's that one in the, uh, in the um, Robocop? Uh, Ed 249? <laughs> so this is like fish. Yeah, I haven't seen that in so long. Mm. No, no. Ow. Might watch that on Blu-ray sometime. Oh sure, just drop the health pot, the health thing right in the spikes. Yeah, I noticed that the last time you went through, I was thinking, yeah, you can get that anytime, right? <laughs> yeah, as soon as I find shoes that are invulnerable to spikes. Mm. Come on, come on. There we health? go. Health. Health. Oh, there is some health. Still haven't filled up my E tank. That'd be really useful. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Was that, did that eat you? Yes. Yes, it does <laughs> eat me. That's awesome. No. And then I got to blast him from the inside. Stop it. <laughs> Cannibal, what are these, piranhas? I, I don't know, man, but they're just robo awesome. fish eats, ro <laughs> robo fish eats robo dude. Oh, whoa, that was too close. And that, that wasn't. That was... It's much too close. <laughs> God, this is... I forgot how tough this game is. Oh, yeah. Doesn't it seem like a lot of get older games are tough? Oh, yeah, we've like, gotten so spoiled. I feel so like a spoiled. lot of the new games are just not, are lacking that. We, we have gotten <laughs> so spoiled. Yeah, it was like when I was playing uh, on the old Commodore 64 games and you'd get a game from Europe. You just couldn't buy it. It was so hard. The American games were a pushover, and the European games were really, really hard because they were made for hardcore gamers. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You gotta keep the Americans feeling good about themselves. Yeah. <laughs> well, they don't like to lose, right? <laughs> exactly. We don't no, want to lose. Don't. We need to win. <laughs> yeah, we just want them to buy the game. We let them win. Let the yeah. Wookiee win. <laughs> yeah. You know, if, you know if, if they, if, yeah, if they beat it, they'll just buy more. <laughs> mm. I just see all the people the it, when the day of these games, all the, the guys laughing over in Japan because it's so much easier. They're like, he -he, they're gonna well, buy maybe more. that's why the Xbox hasn't been very successful in Japan. May well, that's true. I've never thought games of that. It's too easy, right? Who yeah. knows? Okay, what did that do? Oh, that one brought me back to the menu. Okay, I'm going to take a different so so we can at least show a little bit less of me dying. <laughs> I am <Trainer> going. <laughs> I am going to cheat a little bit here, not completely. Uh, what do we got? Ooh, eight terabytes of memory. Yeah, that's, that's but the cache nothing. is only a couple of kilobytes. Yeah. What do you think? All megabytes of secondary cache. All upgrades, but no bosses. You can do all four sub tanks, but no armor, weapons, or heart tanks. Um, all tanks, all all bo that's all bosses defeated. We don't want that. I don't know. All upgrades, but no bosses defeated. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that one sounds no good. bosses. No, I don't want to load. Oh, can I not do codes since this is a... Yes. I want the password menu. There we go. How do we change a password now? There we go. Um, I'll upgrade no bosses. 6485. 6485. One one four six. This was one nice thing about games that used passwords. It's very easy to cheat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if there was just that level, you you just couldn't get through. You could always do that. As long as it was the internet, and you could actually get it. Yes, as long as you had the internet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Back in 93, it was a lot harder to find out the passwords from other people. 
Yeah, you kind of had to have a friend or somebody that was playing it. Yeah, because even when you dialed into BBSs, it wasn't the... Uh... <laughs> yeah, it, it, it amazes me how much information you can actually find out on things now compared to uh, even 10 years ago. Okay, so what boss should we go after? Well, let's do the one that beat us the first time. Uh, Flame Mammoth Dude? Yeah. Oh yeah, you li like my new armor? Flashy. Yeah, I got a nice, nice new helmet. Don't have all the heart tanks apparently though. Now yeah, you won't need them. <laughs> Hopefully, and nope, no E tanks either. So yeah, so this you, one, you can pick one up in the next little bit, can't you? Uh yeah, there was one. So we just got all the. Arm armor upgrades and none of, none of the fancy stuff. Oh, that is interesting. Since I put the password in, it reset it so that I haven't defeated Chill Penguin, and now this level, there is lava in there, where before it was like frozen over. That is weird. Hmm. Oh, right, and there's... Though I think... Oh, yeah. That wasn't there before. Oh, that was new. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, apparently defeating Chill Penguin before Flame Mammoth um, freezes this level. Whoa. Wow. Makes the game easier by chance? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I can't... Now I can't get that heart tank down there because it's full of lava. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Ooh. Wait, well, you can walk on lava. You did the last time, did you? Yeah, while being burned alive. And plus, it's very slow. It's like trudging through molasses, apparently. <laughs> Except I wonder if I should go after that E-tank. <laughs> Lava's like molasses. You don't get burned, but you just go really slow. No, I get burned too. You do get burned too. Yeah. Yeah, it's just not as bad. <laughs> wow, these guys seem a little tougher too. I don't know. It's definitely very interesting, very weird going through it in, in a different order. Let's get out of here. Ah, there is the we want. Oh yeah, and I can bust blocks in my head now. Oh, that was close. Yeah, I've never been a fan of respawning. Especially the ones that respawn as soon as you turn your back. Yeah. Like the, the, exactly, yeah. The, the minute the screen can refresh, you know, that it's off screen and it can refresh the map that they respawn, yeah. that, that that just seems cheap. Yeah, I never quite got why they did that. I'm just assuming maybe it's programming, just easier to program or for some reason. Or I don't know. Yeah. You would think it would actually be easier just to say, you know, once defeated, enemy gone. Yeah, uh, it's rushed. just to make it more challenging, guys. Is that what you think it is? Okay. Yeah. Oh, right, and we got more lava here. Fun. Oh, Cheerios. <laughs> oh, but my wow. buster gun is more powerful now. Oh, yeah. Bam. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, one shot, one kill. Yeah. I'm excited to see the boss level now. See Holy. the difference. If I live that long. <laughs> oh, can't go down there now.
So what is the B button? Could use a little more health, but... Yeah, big time. Apparently I do not have the Hadouken. Here, mousey, mousey. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouse event. <laughs> that, that would be the weirdest um, combination. <laughs> Still doesn't seem like it's knocking much off. Stay away from me. Stay, stay far away. I'm just gonna hang out here if that's okay. No, you stay down there. Wow, he looks oh, come like on. he's getting angry. Oh. Please tell me that he's gonna move. Oh boy. He's he just got you trapped. There we go. Ah. No. Man, that's ah. how he smoked you last time. Yeah. <laughs> He's good. Mousefin's good. Ah, stop. Ow. This was definitely a... It took after a lot of games in its time how they did the bosses. Like it seemed like a lot of the earlier games, you know, all did the same thing. You gotta, you got to the end of a level and the boss was in a room and you know you had, couldn't go back or anything. Yeah. yeah. Sonic sort of did that just in that you couldn't go backward. You didn't actually go in a room or anything. Yeah. It yeah, just, you just closed off just the like level. Yeah. Oh, you got him down to about almost half health. Yeah, we're almost even. Mouse event. Hey, get away from me. Here he comes. You could either throw a cheese or peanuts to distract it. You choose. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he's an elephant, if you throw him a mouse, he should run away. Oh. But if he's a mouse event, then he's he may be immune to that. Oh, my goodness. Ah, jeez. I don't even know where to go afraid. from here. <laughs> he's only half afraid. <laughs> He, he like looks at it. He's like, I don't know. It kind of sneaks closer. He's like, Ah! <laughs> oh no! Stop! Oh, come on! Get out! Two more hits. Run! Oh no! Get away! Get away! Get away! <laughs> that dash is very handy. Oh! Get him down! Get him. Got him! Ha ha! Mouse pinch. Oh, that worked out my thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> do you get? Do you guys get the same way? Like when I'm really into a video game, I just, I, like I, I must not blink my eyes because like a few minutes later you just, just cry. <laughs> the no. tears are just pouring down, and your eyes are just burning. My hands get extremely sweaty. Yeah, sure. that's what I get. I get, you know, all of a sudden you're, just, and then you get the cramp and just like. Maybe it's yeah. like your contacts that do that then. Yeah, I'm not sure. Well, that's entirely possible because you might be more effective with the contacts. Yeah, because like I'll be I'll be like, you don't, video you don't game. blink. You don't yep. blink. It's like the weeping angels, you don't blink. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody will come in the room, they're like, Are you crying? No, <laughs> just just playing a video game. <laughs> <laughs> don't mind me. <laughs> you like that one clockwork orange with the wires holding your eyeballs open one. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow, minecart. Oh, just join this Playboy, this oh. game. <laughs> yeah, see how you zip back, and then when he went back, the guy respawned. Yep. yep. Yeah, just... That's annoying. Oh, there's the chickens. The chickens. I always thought they were ostriches. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's kind of. Yeah, okay. they are, but they remind me of that bird that you, 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 it, it put it in water and it dips and drinks, you know, with the red. Oh, bird. the yeah, the dunking bird. Thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, wait. Okay. How do you get to that good weapon that you just saw there? That was actually a bulldozer that's trying to kill me right now. Oh. Oh. It kind of also reminds me of uh, oh the Disney oh, movie. No, oh, no, no, what's no. the bird in there? Like Steve or something? Oh yeah. 
It's just the goofiest looking bird ever. No, don't you dare. Oh. Interesting music on this level. Yeah. Come on, open your hat. Use a little more health. Yeah, well, that's good. The upgraded buster is very nice. Yes. Oh then... yeah, more mining carts. Oh. 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 No, don't. Oh, nice no. save. No. Nice save. Okay, over here. <laughs> ah, the bats are after you. <laughs> and they're back. This isn't Batman. No. It's not Castlevania either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's. I guess that's even more similar. Yeah. Oh, I haven't played that game in a long time either. I, I have it from my original Game Boy. Do you? Oh, okay. haha. I got behind the tank. Or one of them anyways, Belmont's uh, Revenge, I think it's called. Ah, uh, behind the tank, destroying it. Oh, that's a really good way to go about doing that there. Oh, except now I can't get the heart container. If I would have been ahead of him, there would have been a little ledge I could have jumped up. Dang. Can you do the dash and jump? Oh, not high enough. Yeah, that's one thing Wait, I found is you can run really fast, but you can't jump any higher. No. <laughs> and I don't have um, my my handy dog Rush to come be a springboard. Yeah, we're just gonna obliterate everything. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Jumped off that in time. Just like perfect timing, yeah. And there's actually, there's an interesting little Easter egg in here. Supposedly, after you defeat all eight bosses and find, with, I, I don't know how many of these steps are actually necessary, but supposedly after you beat all of the bosses minus the final one and collected all of the upgrades and everything, mm -hmm. if you go back to this stage, and there's some room down below here. Yeah, it's, it requires some very tricky minecart riding and jumping. But there's a hidden capsule where you can get, where Professor Light will show up in a little karate dojo outfit and <laughs> will show you the secret Hadouken weapon. So then he nice. Press down, forward, and B, and then he, then he, he then Mega Man does the Hadouken fireball. <laughs> Come here, come here. So which boss is this gonna be? <laughs> this is the armored armadillo. I'm hoping my flame thrower. Not can... a very big room either. No, and he likes to mess with it. He rolls at you, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he is all over the. He's super fast. Yeah. Yo. You get a pretty good weapon from them, though. This is not looking good. Ouch. Okay, I'm, I'm going to switch to my flamethrower and see if that helps. Turns you into pixie dust. <laughs> <laughs> Sad, I have more weapon energy than I do health on here. What? Well, he's an earth creature. It's like putting fire on rock. Oh, apparently that doesn't work either. Oh, wow, yeah, what are you going to have to use? You got anything electrical? Uh, no, that's a different boss. Give him a knife and tell him to stick it in the socket. Ow. Man, he's a hard one. You know, I don't yeah, know if I've so ever cool. actually beaten this guy. <laughs> I've only beaten a handful of bosses in this game, and he may not be one of them. Yeah, because he blocks. Yeah, well, that took a chunk of health off him, which is more than the flame did. <laughs> That's like doing... Oh, there, I got some. 
So when he's firing his little things out of his helmet, you can't hurt him. Or when he's I don't think you up. can hurt him when he's doing his rumble mode here. No. But he's opening ah. up a hole in the wall, ceiling. I wonder if that's like a secret base. No, I think that's his entrance hole. Oh, okay. I guess I just didn't pay attention. <laughs> but nothing new. <laughs> hmm. I'll go for the electric dude. I think we have, we have time for one more level, maybe. Oh right, this is the level that has the that sparks flying all over the place. Yeah, the the floors and ceiling are like electrical wires. Oh boy. Ooh, this is a weird part. <sighs> this reminds me of the an area on Metroid where your only source of light are the enemies that are flying around trying to kill you. Yeah, very interesting. Makes it kind of hard because you want to destroy the enemies because they don't kill you, but then you lose your only source of light and then you can't see. Did that wall just... Oh, okay. I guess I'm not going back there. Oh, right, mini boss. Stop it. Jeez. As if the bosses didn't insult you enough, you gotta have these mini bosses. Uh, yeah, that's a tough knock one. Knock out your health. Oh, that wasn't even a checkpoint. Yeah, it's hard to go back, you know, from, you know, you play some fairly modern games and then to go right back to some of these old school games. Yeah. You know, from scratch, because, you know, <laughs> let's face it, the first time you fired this up and since you played it last was now, right? And uh, I find them, that's why they're somewhat hard, is you're just not, and the not used Mega to Man playing that level of game. The, the Mega Man games especially were known for their level of difficulty. And so that... I think... I... I don't even know if I finished a Mega Man game. Oh, I finished, um... Mega Man X Command Mission, the sort of RPG for the Xbox, the PS2, a while back. I. Yeah, I've never finished one, but then again, I didn't finish a lot of games when I was younger for some reason. No, me neither. I, I, I played a few, but I finished even fewer. So you get the freeze ray with this guy? Uh, no, this is just a mini, mini boss. I don't, I don't get nothing from him. Which is kind of insulting. No, I was just yeah. wondering, if they, can you use the freeze oh. ray on? Um... That's a good question. I don't. I don't have it. <laughs> I guess I should. You don't get anything else. but a lower health bar and a headache from these guys. Mm. Yeah, you don't even get the ability to see what the health they're at. Yeah, yep, that's yeah. really annoying. Yeah. Like I guess I'll just keep shooting it. This guy just like morphs and he's just got so many different things going on. There we go. But he Yay. makes the same sound as in, as one of the enemies or the background in the flying battery zone on Sonic and Knuckles. Yep. And it has that same sort of engine whir. 
Well, some of the sound chips on these things were very limited in the number of sounds you can get out of them. <laughs> yeah, they could only make, yeah, certain ones. So the Genesis always managed to have its own unique sound. It, it, the music yeah, and sounds on those did. were always very sort of warped and I don't know what, what you'd call it. You could, you could pretty much always tell if it was a Genesis game versus, versus an NES game. Even yeah. if it was the same game. That was probably a more competent sound chip. The Super Nintendo? Well, the Super Nintendo had a, um, a Yamaha one, didn't it? Yeah, Something I think like so. The Atari ST, which wasn't a bad one, but... I don't know what the yeah. Genesis has, but I know it always they always sounded very warpy and synthy. Yeah. Well, I'll just do a little research. Yeah, good old Wikipedia. Now, how on earth do I get up there? Oh, I'll bet you I need the boomerang cutter weapon. They were one of the bosses, I get a weapon that's like a boomerang. I bet that's what you need to collect that. Oh, no, you don't. The upgraded Buster is kind of nice. It like creates a shockwave around Mega Man. So it attacks the guys behind you. Oh, come on. Not dark levels. Okay, let's see if flame does anything to electricity. I'm sure the flame would probably tear up that leafy iguana dude. <laughs> yeah. Not, not sure how. I wonder it... if. What do you think? Water would work the best? You, like get electricity. Oh yeah, I, I'll bet you water would probably tear this guy. Holy crap! He's already got half your health gone. Ah. Ah no. That does nothing. Uh, get down from there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there there's a particular order you pretty much have to do these things unless you're really good. Yeah, this Super Nintendo RAM uh, sound was uh, basically eight channels. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the Sega was a two chips. And two eight channel had chips? Two six. Oh. Oh. So I'm, I don't, but I'm not sure. I think the, but the other one was a Sony, basically a TCM. Like it did, it wasn't a synth chip. It was a good sound chip, but the Yamaha was a synth chip. I mean, that could do, do some stuff. This may sound like a stupid question. Does Yamaha even make electronic components anymore? Besides, mm. like the last I ever saw stuff would seem to be like guitar amps or something. Yeah. Well, they still make musical instruments. They still do that stuff? Okay. Yeah. Wasn't sure. Yeah. But Yamaha, I mean, there's like different groups, right? So Yamaha Pro Audio, Yamaha Motors. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. So. The subway cars are made by Yamaha. Some they of them make, are. you know that Voicaloid <laughs> software? Okay. They make it. Really? Huh. Yep. So, uh, they're still doing some stuff there that way. Well, I think that will have to do it for this episode. I managed to knock down two bosses. One of well, them I needed a little help. A couple of bosses <laughs> better than me. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Um, the, this, they actually, they, Nintendo finally brought this game, I think, to the virtual console. Okay. So you can play it on the Wii. And there, there's also a, um, PSP remake, Mega Man X Maverick Hunter, which I had, 
Um, they, they redo it a little bit. They add a little anime cutscenes in there. It's all 3D graphics. Um, mm -hmm. They moved around a few of the items and added some dialogue and stuff, which isn't great. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and I have to say the graphics, the 3D graphics are interesting, but it makes Mega Man look a little more like a little Tykes toy. It's more like one of those um, chunky little Tykes people. Okay. So it, he loses a little bit of his coolness. <laughs> unfortunately. But yeah. If anyone, if you guys want to find some more of these episodes and retro reviews and stuff, you can check out my blog at retrogamesforever.com or follow me on Twitter. Um, you guys got anything to plug? Oh, oh, yeah, besides, you know, if you want to follow me, I guess, Twitter, Schmidt, yeah. And I'm at smoke me a kipper, or at smoke me underscore a kipper on Twitter. And if you want to, um, uh, after remind everybody again, if you want to get a ad on the show, you can check that out at j75.me slash five ad. Um, and you can subscribe to this in iTunes or on the blog and all kinds of stuff. Still haven't seen it in Zoom, so still don't know what their beef is. Uh, get those Fiverr ads. Every time you do a doggy smiles, a cute little puppy, you make it stay, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure. <laughs> well. We will thanks you thanks for everyone for watching and we will see you next week in the past. <laughs>